for Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 1 to 6, where we read last week. We are going to say continuation of what we studied last week. So it's the same chapter of the Bible that we are going to read to be able to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy 34, 1 to 6. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to read here. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to the Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead, as far as Dan, all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the West Sea, the south, the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zohar. Then the Lord says to him, This is the land of which I swore to, the, swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. Five. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. Six, the last one, and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Boa. But no one knows his grave to this day. Praise the living God. God bless his beauty in the name of Jesus. Father, your word said that your, your word is the light, is light unto our feet. So let it be a light unto our feet today so that we dig deep into your word today with understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Introduction say, in the first part of this series, we considered an internal enemy that could hinder a man getting to the next level. Our God is no respecter of any man. If we keep by his rule, he is determined to take you to the next level. As we understand, as we as we continue in the study today, may you receive an understanding to his word in Jesus' name. Praise the living God. You know, last week we discussed about two things. That God is not a respecter of any man. If you don't stick to the rules of God, you cannot get to your promised land. Praise the living God. No matter what you have done for God in the past. God is concerned about your present, your right now. He's concerned about he, your service to him right now, not the one that you have served him in the years past. Praise the living God. And we also know that that day they even told us that anger is the burn of our world, next level. It will disturb you from getting to your next level when you have anger in you. And we really discussed it very well that day. I believe those that were here that day, they knew that, yes, we really dealt with it. Praise the living God. Now, today we are going to look at another one also. We say that God is constantly faithful. Praise the living God. God is what? Constantly faithful. Praise the living God. God is constantly committed to his word. Though Moses gave room for anger, which led to his disobedience, but a man's unfaithfulness. God will remain faithful. Praise the living God. As we all know, despite the mistake of Moses, God was still what? Very faithful. If you look at it very well, God said that, okay, even though you did that, I'm going to do what? Show you the land because I promise it. So you will see it. Not that I just said it. Hence, you cannot go there. You cannot see it. It, will, it would have been as if maybe he just deceived Moses. But he was faithful to his word. So you have to do what? Show Moses the word, the land, to confirm that, yes, really, he meant business. Praise the living God. As we co <clears throat> he is committed to every of his promises in your life. His word could absolutely be trusted. They are written for a purpose. They have to be kept and studied. Praise the living God. Now, coming back to our own lives, what did God promise you? That you are looking at it that, ah, God, but I heard you very well. You say that so, so, and so, so, and so thing. Why is it not coming? Praise the living God. God is still what? Very faithful. Just wait. The vision is for a what? An appointed time. And when it is time, it will do what? It will surely show forth. Praise the living God. Because God 
God is what? Very, very faithful. Please, let us open our Bible to the book of, I think we read it, Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 4. We say that our God do what? Took Moses up and he do what? He showed him the land for him to see it. Let it not be as if he's just, uh, he was just lying to Moses. He took Moses there and he do what? He showed him the land to show that he is what? He is very faithful and committed to his word. Praise the living God. Let us open to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9. Deuteronomy 7 9. Praise the living God. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9. Know therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandment. Praise the living God. God is what? God that do what? Keep commandment, keep his word, promises. From generations to generation, praise the living God. The Bible, he told uh, Abraham that in you all the nations of the world shall be what blessed. And we are today uh, me claiming the blessings of who Abraham, because he told him more than how many years ago. We are still claiming claiming the blessing, and he's still what working for us. Praise the living God, because God is what committed to His word. Praise the living God. Let us open to the book of Kings. 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 52 I mean 56 1 Kings 8 The book of 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 56 You know it's a Bible study so we have to study so that we show ourselves what approved Praise the living God Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promises which he promised through his servant Moses. Praise the living God. He promised Moses even before Moses went to pick the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. He told him that that land is a land of that what flowing is flowing with what milk and honey. And look at what this uh, kings was saying that what all what he promised Moses, you know Moses died before the children of Israel get to the promised land but they were confirming it that everything that Moses told them that God said has come to pass there's no one that has failed to the ground praise the living God, for you to believe that what God is so what faithful, that which he has promised you, just trust in him, keep believing in him that he will do what, he will surely do it at the appointed time. Praise the living God. They was confirming it. Now look at it. How many years Moses died? But these people went to the land and they said that what? Everything that Moses told them just came to pass. Exactly the way he told them that God said. Praise the living God. So by this, I think we can still believe, we can still know that God is what? Dependable. You can depend on him. You can believe in him. You can put your trust in him for what he has promised you. It will surely come to pass. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. Now, let us open to the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 18. Hebrews 6, 18. You know, because of uh, Mike, I'm just reading alone. Hebrews 6, 18. That by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have, we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. Praise the living God. That it is what? Very impossible for God to do what? To lie. That which God has promised you is very, very faithful. It's very impossible for him to lie concerning it. It will surely come to pass. So do not fret. Do not uh, waver. Do not shake. Do not uh, become like candle in the wind. Praise the living God. Just believe God. Just trust in him. You know, what 
really cause makes us to waver so much is timing. Praise the living God. Humans timing and cause.
God instructs us to do what? To do it. Are you doing it or you are doing it your own way? Praise the living God. God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. I know these common things are the things that will do what? We did to disqualify us. A simple thing, do what? Stop Moses from what? Getting to the next level. Praise the living God. Things that will take for granted. Things that will look at it as it, does, it doesn't matter. It matters, it matters a lot. Praise the living God. God will help us in Jesus' name. He has different methods of solving similar problems. He has new ways of doing things. Praise the Lord. That is God. He has different methods. To the other person, the other time he told Moses to go and do what? Strike the rock. Water will come back. Come outside and the children will do what? Israel will do what? We drink. The other time he said that do what? Go and speak. Praise the Lord. So he has a different words talking to you at any particular time. Not a particular way saying, eh, I know now that's how God used to operate. You can't know how God used to operate. Praise the living God. Because he's what? He's God. The only thing you have to do was listen to him per time, per hour. Anything that you want to do, don't you, he may ask you to even do it this way today. Tomorrow he may ask you to do it the other way. It will even look strange, but that is how he wants it to be done. Praise the Lord. Oh, what they are telling us is what? For us to do what? Listen to God and never to do it according to our own way. Praise the Lord. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Now, let's open to the book of Doing 
it is the way you should be done. It should be done. Praise the living God. And when you look at the book of Proverbs, the book of one uh, chapter of Proverbs says that if you are not, if a lazy man will become what will be forced to what will be given to forced labor. Praise the living. We'll get there. Praise the living God. Now, hard work. They are not telling us that, that is the secret of what next level. It is surprising to know that Father Moses, at the age of 120, could still go to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, just as I said before, 120 years. 120 years. Even some people, even at the age of 70, they say, I ah, need climb climb mountain. It can't be possible. But Moses was, was what? 100 and what? 20 good years. They can still climb mountain. Praise the living God. Because of what? He was so committed, so diligent, so hard working. Praise the living God. He woke to the point of death, even though he was not able to physically get to the promised land. But that he could see it a apparel was a new level to him. Praise the living God. He woke even at the point of what death. He woke until when he was 120 years that he was about to die. He still do what? Climb the mountain and went and do what? Die on the mountain. At the point of death, he was still what? As our people say, he was still very gallant. Praise the living God. He was still gallant. Some people before you know, they will say, ah, I don't die. I don't pass all this kind of level now. This and that. In God, you don't pass any level. Praise the living God. I could remember when I was listening to Daddy Gio. He said that uh, they had a very big, uh, this, uh, some years ago, that uh, some minister, big, big ministers, his people come to him that, ah, you have done so much. You have to rest now. Let us carry, the, carry on. You have been doing so much. Just rest. He said, ah, him rest. Don't you read in the Bible where King David rested. The time he was supposed to be in war with his people, he was resting. What happened? That was where he saw Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah. Then what happened at last? He committed a blunder. Because of what? When he was supposed to be working, he was what? Lazy. Lazy around at home. The Bible says that during the time that the kings used to do what? Go to war. He was still at what? At home. Praise the living God. He was lazy at home, just like so many of us. And there's an adage in my language they say that it is only empty hands that do what? Scratch bum bum. If your hands are empty, you can easily uh -huh. But if you are doing something, you have something, no matter it scratch you, in fact, it can't even scratch you. But when your hands are empty, you are not doing anything with your hands, you can easily turn it there. Praise the Lord. As simple as that, when you are doing something, there are so many things that you will do what? Keep away from. All this gossip. Every day they are coming to you. Eh, mama, so so oh yeah, that you talk them. They say, they say, you say, they say. They say, they say, go plenty. Before you go, no fight go come out. Praise the living God. Like, how many yesterday? One woman that we know. My wife said, ah, she saw the woman, elderly woman, not young woman. They fought in their camp and this and that. They bite her. her very serious. I said, uh -uh. as old as she is, she's still doing such things. Because of what? Idleness. You are just idling at home. Before you know, this one passed. Now you be the chief broadcaster of the whole area. Everything about everybody you know. Praise the Lord. Because of what? Your hands are empty, are empty so you can you do what? Crash bomb bomb. Praise the living God. May our hands not be empty in Jesus' mighty name. May we not be lazy around in Jesus' mighty name. May we be hard working anywhere where we are, even in our offices, anywhere you are, they should know that you are what? You are a hard working person in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. The next level to an idle man is what? Poverty and shame. That's the conclusion. The next level to an idle person is what? Poverty and shame. So we don't have to be idle. We don't have to be lazy. Lazy around. Praise the living God. If one has to be lazy or sit at home, I'm the best person that's supposed to sit at home. Because I know what I passed through and I know what I'm passing through right now. But I refuse it. Any day that I didn't do anything, the night comes. I will be, oh God, the whole of this is just go without anything. Praise the living God. And any day that goes without you doing anything, it's a waste 
same day, that day has been counted what? Wasted. Praise the living God. Then some people will be happy. Maybe you have a, an office or have a shop. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock, you are still at home. A man, some men will just tired. Uh, this and after, I go, go, this and that. I know one man where we were living uh, before. The wife has shop. He didn't say has shop somewhere. But you will lazy around in the wife shop, oh, drinking uh, all this yekbe. This and that there until 11 o'clock. Where you are selling, other people are selling the same thing there. And you are going there at 11 o'clock where other people have already made their hundreds of thousands. You are just coming there. At the end of the day, we'll come back and tell your wife, say, market no day. How market go day? Where you day house till 11 o'clock? Because now you shop. Praise the living God. How market go day? At the end of the day, that shop do what? Close down. A man, you lazy around. Drink all this, you tired up a seat for Domot near your wife's shop. Taking this, taking talk, 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 talk. Praise the living God. They say the next level of an idol person is what? Poverty and shame. Praise the living God. Let us take uh, some Bible verses. Our time is gone. Praise the living God. Exodus, I think, Exodus chapter 9, verse 12. Exodus 9 12. Praise the living God. Sorry, Exodus 17 9 to 12. 17. 17 9 to 12. And Moses says to Joshua, Choose us some men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hands. That is Moses. Even when he was what? Our old man was still going to war. To war. Say, go, Joshua. Choose people and go. Tomorrow I'm going there by myself. I will climb that mountain by myself. Praise the living God. It's just like you are saying that, okay, you go. Me, I'm going to do what? To the house of God to do what? Pray. Praise the living God. He said they should choose people and go and tomorrow will do what? He will go by himself also. So Joshua did as Moses said. And fought with Amarak. And Moses, Aaron, and Hor went up to the top of the hill. Went up to the top of the hill again. Oh, with almost one, I mean around 140 years. Oh, praise the Lord. And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hand became heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hor supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Praise the living God. With all that Moses was was, he has never wanted lazy at home. When there was time to go to war, he do what? He went. He lifted up his hand unto the Lord, concerning the battle until his hand become what? Weary. So Joshua, I mean, uh, two people, one, the other side, well, they have to hold his hand. To hang it up until the children of Israel do what? Defeated the Amalek. Praise the living God. To show you that what? Moses was not lazy. Even at that age, he was still what? He has the right to say it, but he did it. He went by himself. Praise the living God. So who are you directly at? Me, I don't tire. Oh, yeah, you and you, may not go. He said, Joshua, choose people, go, but I will also do what?
was on the next day that Moses sought to judge the people, and the people stood before Moses from morning till evening. Moses will sit in the judgment to judge the matter of Israel. So when people are standing from morning till evening, where Moses go go? Not be there and go see that too. He was there from morning till evening doing what? Passing judgment to the things that concerns Israel. Praise the living God. He was never lazy any day until the point of death. Praise the living God. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Proverbs 22 verse 29. He said that, Say thou a man that is diligent in his work, he will stand before what? Kings. Praise the living God. He will stand before what? Kings, not ordinary quick, quick, quick people. When it matters most, now you then go call. Say, ah, we know him. Now you go perform. People, where they come, now be these ordinary people. Now better, better people, they come. Now this guy go come. Where he go come do that? Did that is it perfectly. You are diligent in your work, in your work, so everybody knows you. So some people will do what? We'll not stand before ordinary people. In fact, if they say it's coming, or maybe some people will come and sleep here. You will say that the geo is what? It's coming. When it's coming around, some people are far. Maybe the whole of that day they are waiting there. Because of what? Even as at that age, almost 80 something, is still what? Vibrant in the things of the Lord. He didn't give, okay, I'm sitting there, you go and do it. No, he's going by himself. Praise the living God. God will help us in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 12, verse Proverbs 12, verse 24. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy man will be put to work false level. Whether you like it or not, you will do it. Because you have been lazy. So there's nothing for you now start and you start coming to If you know your work very well, you are very good in doing it. People will be rushing you. But whereby you are lazy. Even work where you go learn, you know learn and where. Have done. Praise the living God. Ah, asabi, asabi. They give you, you do rubbish. Praise the living God. At the end of it, it will be what? False level. If you finish your work, do, you, you do your apprenticeship very well, you finish and you know it very well. People will be rushing you. You are the one that will be what? Giving them the price that you will do that. But when you are lazy, you just, oh, God, anyhow, it is just give me now. Make I find something, chop. Where are you supposed to collect 100,000 or give you 10,000 naira? If you don't like, they go. You say, I go just do it. What I go do? Where hungry, they catch me. You are now forced to what? Put to what? false level. You don't want to be, you don't supposed to do it, but what will you do? Praise the living God. That is what we are saying, that what? A diligent hand will do what? We rule. But if you are lazy, you be, even people who don't suppose to talk to you, they will talk because of what? The way you present yourself. It will never be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. John chapter 5 verse 17. John 5 17. But Jesus answered them, My father has been working until now, and I have been working. Jesus died, Jesus Christ said, Say his papa, his father in heaven has been what? Working until now. And he himself is what? Is working. The Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38, say how the Lord God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about what? Doing good. He didn't sit down one place. The Bible says that he do what? He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the enemy. Because of what? God was with him. Praise the living God. He went about doing it. He didn't sit in one place. Is it not when he was going to Jericho that a blind Bartimaeus saw him? He said, who is making that? Who, 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 who? Say that Jesus. Ah, Jesus of Nazareth. You son of David, have mercy on me. Because of what? Jesus did not sit in one place. He was what? Passing. So he said that even his father is working, and he himself is still working. So why will you not walk? You lazy at home. Sit idle. You eat the bread of an idle man, which is what? 
poverty and shame. Praise the living God. It will never be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what they're telling us is, uh, is that what? For us to sustain our next level, one of the things we must do is what? We must be what? Diligent. We must be what? Hard working. There's no lazy this anywhere. No free food anywhere. Praise the living God. Sometimes I sit down and think, even prostitute, not be small work, go. Share with no. Black go come. Red go come. This one go come. Easy. <laughs> hard pass. Okay, talk of robbery. For you to gain minds, who person gone for head? We know very well say that thing not be your own. You want to consider the person message go kill him. Easy. Is everybody, me and you, is everybody will do it? Praise the living God. So there's nothing. Don't just sit there. Okay, look at all this. Uh, our boys now. They don't want to work again because of what? Yahoo. There will be some will sit for where the uh, system two, two days, two months, three months. These are be, be, because they want to do what? Scam someone. Praise the living God. I deal with them very well. I will do some things for them. So I'm going to say, our oh boy, for sometime I'll not see your bed sheet to do this. Say, I know they sleep for bed. Now, she be my, this is, throughout the night, they will sit on the chair with their laptop. Throughout. For them to do, if you are even there, if you are lazy, you can't get anything. So in every aspect of life, and that is a wrong, the, all these ones are wrong ways. But if you are now diligent in the right thing, the blessings of God will do what? We surely locate you. That is what we are saying. The blessing of God will do what? We locate you. All this one, you are causing people to cry. You are doing all this and that. At the end of the day, you are not sustaining your next level. Rather, you are going down the drain. Praise the living God. It doesn't matter how much you are getting now. It doesn't matter. It's just a matter of little time. Praise the living God. What we are saying is, is what? Be diligent in the right thing so that the blessing of the Almighty God will do what? Will locate you. Praise the living God. God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Finally, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15. Proverbs 19, 15. Laziness cast one into deep into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. Praise the living God. When you are idle, you do what? You suffer hunger. You see, some people they will be celebrating, enjoying their life, eating good, dressing up good. You, you are lazy. You will be like some people that play will be begging, say, Ah, this one I don't wear that thing. I just give me now. At this moment, you say they wear this one. Praise the living God. Why you no go buy? Go there, ask another person for the one way down the remnant. Because of what? You are lazy. Praise the living God. Which day you go give person? Where every day they call me person say, help me this, help me that. Which day you go get give person? Praise the living from what? Getting into our, I mean sustaining our next level. And it will lead us to what? Poverty and shame. It will never be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, we have come to the end of our lesson. Last week. Father, we thank you for a wonderful time in your presence.